How you doing YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with new brewery time. Kind of really pumped for this beer. That be Young Master. It is their Jade Scorpions be a green peppercorn pilsner. This comes courtesy my boy Max. A green peppercorn pilsner? This sounds exactly like what I love to drink. 5.1% alcohol by volume. It's an import of Be United. They are out of Hong Kong, uh, China. Unfiltered and pasteurized, no additives. Naturally carbonated, and it is citrusy, tingly, and crisp, as it says on the side. Label-wise, I love it. I love this label. It's just got some weird kind of um, hanging out in the background dojo thing with, like, I don't know, some dude breathing fire. But then I guess their company logo, because I looked up, did a little sleuthing on these guys, is that kind of... Those, the kind of karate stance pants. That's what I call it right there. So I can dig on that. So uh, beer wise, I mean, it looks like a really dark hazy Pilsner. I mean, a more akin to a hazy pale than a Pilsner. Pinky finger of crisp white head to it. And just that soft haziness. To, and it has a little bit of darkness, more kind of towards a kind of Vienna um, kind of beer, uh, as opposed to just a straight up kind of American style Pilsner. So. Yeah, Let's see if we can get a nose. I actually get a ton of fruit off this. Um, I'm getting a ton of honeydew melon. That's actually what I'm getting. Specific honeydew melon. Not getting a big peppery note, but man, the way that honeydew comes off for this low ABV kind of Pilsner is really explosive. A nice sweetness to it. There's gonna be a bittering to it. I just can't really tell. It's kind of generic, at least on the nose. But that smells really, really fun, man. Really fruity. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see what green peppercorn imparts. Because you immediately think of peppercorn. Um, and you think of pepper. But I know a lot of peppercorns impart a lot of different flavors. For me, while it does have this small spicy component that is akin to kind of like a white pepper, that could even be yeast in here. It is really fruity and really heavy melon leaning. I mean, it has this big, huge kind of ripened honeydew melon. We're gonna look up green peppercorn and what it tastes like after this. I don't, know, I don't think I've ever had anything food or I'm sure, well, I've eaten a ton of Asian cuisine, so I probably had green peppercorn before in food, just didn't know it. That beer, I haven't. This is awesome. It reminds me a lot, and maybe this is placebo effect, I'm not trying to lump all Asian culture together, but it really does remind me of melon soda that I had. Um, a good friend of mine in high school, uh, her father opened up a Japanese restaurant, and we're, you know, we're talking 1992, uh, which is kind of, you know, back then you didn't see a ton of them, especially where I lived, up in northeastern Pennsylvania. And I went to the soft opening with her, and I had this kind of melon soda. Um, that I thought was absolutely fantastic. I still think about it today. And it's given me that kind of vibe to it. Again, I'm not trying to diminish, you know, uh, or kind of lump together all, you know, Chinese culture, Japanese culture. That's not my intent here. But if it's placebo effect, I don't know. But it's given me those kind of vibes, that kind of big melon characteristic. And this really nice, crisp Pilsner. I mean, with the, with the subtle haze there, and how it kind of leaned into Vienna Lager territory as opposed to Crispy Pilsner. I didn't think it was going to be as crisp as it is, but it's light. Very, very drinkable. And just hits me with that melon component on top of a soft, white, peppery bittering. And a nice, um, again, it, it makes me think of fruit juicy kind of sweetness. I think this is really good. Is it a Pilsner? doesn't really drink much like a Pilsner, but uh, you can talk me into it if you want. Um, but what I know is it's tasty and tasty AF. So now we got to go on the old computer here and type in green peppercorn and see what it tastes like. Green peppercorn. Jimmy Carrot corn. Green peppercorn. Tastes, tastes like. They say it's milder. Or beige's quality, slightly bittering, much less than that, uh, less heat than like a black or, uh, or black pepper. Let's see what this has to say. This is very enthralling stuff. I should superimpose this actually on there. Uh, 
Un oh, okay, they're unripened peppercorns, so they're going to have a fleshy fruitiness to it, I would assume. Fresher flavor into their black counterpart. I, it has to be where I'm getting that melon component, or at least what I'm perceiving as a melon component. So that's interesting that the green peppercorn is just basically just an under-ripened version of a black peppercorn. And think about it, and this is the way I would think about it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong for those of you out there who know um, these peppercorns more than I do. Kind of like, say, the difference between a green coffee and a roasted coffee. Like, some coffees come off a bit greener, but fleshier, unroasted, that kind of stuff. I think that's how it's imparting itself here. And it, if that's the case, it has to be that melon characteristic. Sure, it could be a little bit of, like, a lager yeast in combination with that, throwing off that melon. Because I do get a lot of melon in um, most lagers. But how vibrant and how pinpoint this honeydew is, it has to be something a little bit more. And I'll attribute that to the green peppercorns. Super fun beer. Thank you very much, Max. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better pilsners I've had this late? If I'm going to be like kind of BJCP nerdy, I'd kind of put it in a conversation, but it's totally not drinking like a pilsner at all. Is it one of the better lagers that I've had as of late up towards the top, if not Mount Rushmore status? Because it's just unique and tasty and not the way I thought it would come off, but still infinitely drinkable uh value to availability no idea kyle let me know what's what kyle jesus christ max let me know what's what when it comes to uh pricing on this and leave you with if you like what will you like this beer i mean if you love honeydew melons that's really where this beer kind of shines or if you just like lagers with interesting flavor twists because that's what this beer has in spades and it comes off really tasty it's just not kooky and fun it's kooky fun and very very tasty so there we go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there. If you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a, yeah, young master right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.